Uh, looks like we're going to King's Landing. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay. The iron wood box. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Oh, I, uh, I pressed the wrong one. I'm supposed to grab it. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Ethan made this for me. Oh, Ethan. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider, a gift from Roderick. Okay, my oldest brother gave me a book. Mm, two of them are dead, and one is exiled. So probably not. Probably not. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Okay, so I have to sway Lady Marjorie. I'm not going to say who is it. Oh. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Now uh, you can come no, in. It's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, milady, but are you all right? If you don't mind my asking. You seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Just put the coals in the bucket. Do you work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. Mm, hopefully, I am because I, I need to wait. This morning, outside the royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. Oh my God, Cersei! Fucking a. Even though season they five, just be having some sort of scene, fucking makes her like her a little. It was definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by, and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? Okay, keep talking. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. That makes sense. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. That's kind of sad, but true. Good night, my lady. Good night, cold boy. Seriously, his name is Cold Coal Boy.
Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Okay, we're following, following Lady Marjorie. The day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. Oh, okay, I we are good friends. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. Yeah, what did she say that she little... She mentioned the Northern but, in my service but of her. and she painted you a traitor. Why? She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable. Knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. But she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. I'll try to be simple. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Night's Guard. Night's Guard, you bastard! You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Like, I hate the living guts in your stupid person, Cersei. Good luck. I don't know who you are, but thank you. You haven't said anything except good luck the last five minutes. Thank you. You can do this. Okay. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Oh, Tywin. Lord Tyrion. Oh, Tyrion. Your grace? Tywin. Oh, Tywin's dad. Sorry. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your grace. Oh, he's bend the knee. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Always oh, bend the knee. House Even though you don't want to. More than house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Yes, Perhaps we're loyal. You should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. Yes. A house of traitors. Are you sure? Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty Answer. the king can expect from you. If you what? have any loyalty at all. God damn it, just Is playing mind tricks. willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Thank you. 
That's one of my many skills. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge. The war alliances. of the slaughtering. There are ships and shields to be built, and what, Joffrey crazy. will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. That smirk. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I have I'm doing pretty good. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. Yes, it is. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? What? What? I'm sure Let she the would... girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? Ah, uh, fuck. I sworn to the king. I must choose Marjorie. Marjorie. Yes. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? She's a the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Hopefully, hopefully I stay in good graces with Lady Marjorie. I'll walk you out. Thank you, Tyrion. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. He was really great. Condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. Um, that's it gonna suck. quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Let him talk. It certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. My dear sister has been known to hold a grudge. My Fuck. sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. 
I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. And that is husband. true. Are you willing uh, to risk that? I probably have to. It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such I a can't, thing. I can't betray That's Lady Marjorie, though. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the norm. Our King's drama Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Hopefully, I'm not the initiate and whatever it's called.